Kazaba, Kazaba, Lebo, Pati, Atanja, Nigeria, Kawala, number Tashekawa, Jakara, Namana, Namana, Wala. Good morning, guys. How are we all doing today? As I speak to you, I'm very happy because there is a massive mobilization going on for Peter Obi in Katsina State. Yes, Katsina State, you heard me right. You know, Katsina State is one of the northwest states. Yes, it's a state in northern Nigeria, in the corner. In short, Katsina State is the state of the present president. That is uh, Muhammad Ubuagi. It's from Darai in Katsina State. There is a massive mobilization going on for Peter Obi in Katsina State. There are these guys who call themselves the Up North Ambassadors. And those guys have been doing massive, massive sensitization. Seriously, kudos to them because these guys even, you know, take the risk of going into bandit infected areas to speak to people. Yes, that's how much of a risk these guys are taking. You know, just to make sure that they spread the gospel of Peter Obi. These are volunteers. These are people who said they don't want any recognition. They just want a better country. So they are putting in the work. It's just like what I've always said. That wherever you are, you just need to put in the work. So look at what these guys are doing. You know, going into the hinterland. Going into places where even uh, mot uh, cars, motorbikes cannot enter. Crossing different rivers. Just to make sure that they spread this uh, new Nigerian message to the people of Katsina who have lost hope in Nigeria. That's why when I tell you that it's not about where someone comes from, you think we are joking. Buari is from Katsina, but most of his people have lost hope because every day they bury people because of attack of bandits and all of that. But their brother there is not doing anything. Uh, no wonder they stoned him the last time he visited Katsina. Let me show you some of these videos. We'll come back and talk more about it. see that was Katsina State that's what these guys are doing they are on they are on the move 
They are on the move always, 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 day, night. Sometimes they even sleep, as in, in villages they don't know. Yes, that's the risk they take, just to make sure that they talk to people, you know, they sensitize people and, you know, create awareness in these villages. Because the truth is that many people are tired. They just need an alternative. But if this alternative is not taken to them to know, they will always feel that, okay, it's the two major parties that are dominant in Nigeria that are still contesting. That can even lead to, you know, serious voter party. Because many have lost hope in both of them. So it's our duty to, know, you know, to take this gospel to them and say, oh, look at an alternative here. And look at what this person has been able to do in the past. So I want to really commend Up North Ambassadors. They are doing a very, very great job for Peter Obi. And I hope you know that two days back, two or three days back, you know, bandits attacked a village in a local government in Casina. And they killed over 82 people. 82 and counting because they first said 48. Before you know, the death, uh, the number of dead people increased to 82. And right now they are still counting. So they might even come up with another higher figure. That's to show you that they don't even know the total number of people that bandits killed that night. In one night. You can imagine. In Katsina State. Where the president comes from. This is to show you that this stuff is not about tribe. They only bring these stuff up when, you know, they want to collect vote from us. And it's very unfortunate that some of us still fall for these old tricks. When they get power, they don't care even about their people. Kassina should be a safe haven if it's by tribe and religion. Because Buhari, you know, is from there. And he will be doing everything to secure them. But no, he's not. Because he doesn't care. He has rode on their backs to get to power. And all he cares about is his family and his friends. His family has enough protection. He has enough protection. So the common man can go and die. But these were people you rode on their backs. At some point, he was the Messiah from the north. So it's not about tribe, my people. It's not about religion. Uh -huh. If it's about tribe and religion, people won't be dying in Katina. Bandits won't be attacking Katina. So seriously, I'm, I want to send a big shout out to Up North Ambassadors. You guys are doing great. And lest I forget, you know, uh, the next year, um, uh, February polls just came out yesterday. And to really prove that these guys are working in Katina, next year I projected that Peter will be will be able to make 25% in Katsina State. Yes. They even gave him a little above 25%. They gave him close to 28-29%. It shows that up north ambassadors are really putting in the job. It shows that other people working there are putting in the work. So, let's be encouraged. Wherever you find yourself, do what you can do to propagate this gospel. As you go out today, speak to people, speak to one person, speak to two people, and all of that. Elections is not far again, just 19 days from today, and we'll be heading to the polls. So talk to people, talk to people, talk to people, as we still have time to do that. Thank you and God bless you.